Hey, what's up guys, Bo HD here. Hope you are doing well. Now, I've been using my iPad Pro with the new iPad OS 15 public beta, and I have absolutely loved it. It makes using the iPad way, way better than before, uh, which is all that we can really ask Apple to do. Just continue to make it better. Now, it has a ways to go before being able to replace my MacBook Pro, but iPad OS 15 makes it considerably closer to being able to do just that. So I'll place a link down below in the description if you wanna learn how to install this public beta for yourself on your very own iPad, if you're interested. Just know that there's gonna be probably some bugs. But uh, with that said, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into what I like about this new operating system. So what I love most are the new multitasking features. There's a new multitasking menu at the top of the screen in the form of these three dots. When you tap these three dots, you can choose to run two apps side by side in split view mode, or you can run them in slide over mode where one app will run on top of another app and you can move it around accordingly. Also, when you're in the app switcher view, you can just drag and drop an app on top of another app to create split view spaces that you can quickly jump to. Uh, additionally, you can use the shortcuts app to create your very own split screen app shortcut that you can place on the home screen. I created one for Twitter and YouTube, but the possibilities are endless. Now, I think it would be nice if you could run three or four apps at a time on one screen. I think it's certainly possible in terms of performance with the, the new M1 chip in particular. Um, but even so, even with just two apps running side by side, this has just greatly improved my experience with the iPad. My next favorite feature is with widgets. Apple has added the ability to place widgets wherever you please on the home screen, something Android tablets have been able to do for over a decade, but it's still nice to have that option here. I can now make my iPad mirror the experience on my iPhone, although with bigger widgets that take advantage of the extra screen real estate. I'm also able to simplify my home screens now using mostly widgets. Uh, my apps are either in folders on the main home screen or in folders in the app library, which is also new to iPad OS. You can just swipe to the last home screen to the right and you will see all your apps here in the app library. Now, Apple has also added a quick note feature where you can just swipe up from the bottom right side of the screen and start taking a note super, super quickly and easily without having to really open any sort of app. It's just there when you need it and you can easily close it when you don't. And I've actually been able to test this feature in a real world use case. My doctor called unexpectedly and started spewing information that I needed to write down quickly. Uh, and so within seconds, I was able to unlock my iPad and just swipe open one of these notes and start taking notes. It was super, super handy. Uh, you just really have to remember that this feature exists and how to take advantage of it. So those are the features that are at the top of my list, but there's a bunch more that Apple has added with iPad OS 15 that are definitely worth talking about. Apple now allows you to add third-party Safari extensions to the iPad for the very first time. All you have to do is go to Settings, Safari, and then Extensions, and then you'll be directed to the Safari Extensions App Store, where you'll be able to see a bunch of third-party extensions that you can add to your mobile browser. Uh, and from what I can tell, there are mostly just ad blockers here, but uh, I'm sure that there will be all sorts of more extensions in the very near future or when this uh, release is official. Live text is pretty neat in that you'll be able to take action on any text that is in a photo just by tapping on the text. It actually uses on-device intelligence, according to Apple, to recognize text and act on it, and uh, it works great in this beta software. Focus is a new feature that will let you select what kind of notifications you want to receive while you're working or having some personal time. You can control which apps can see your focus status, and you can even allow repeated calls to come through. So if like someone calls you twice, they'll be able to actually get through in case it's an emergency. And what's also neat is that the various do not disturb work or personal times will be applied to all of your other Apple devices when they're selected. And along with the new focus feature, uh, notifications themselves just appear bigger, clearer, and more relevant. The last feature that's arguably one of the coolest features that was shown off at the WWDC event is called Universal Control. I haven't been able to test this feature just yet, but basically what it does is you'll be able to control your iPad and your Mac with the very same keyboard and mouse. So you can, you know, drag and drop content between the two devices seamlessly. It's super cool and was definitely one of the more impressive demos Apple had at their recent WWDC event. So yeah, those are all the big new features of iPad OS 15 that make the iPad way more functional and just way more enjoyable. I'm not typically an iPad user or a tablet person. I like my phone, I like my laptop, but having iPad OS 15 on here, 
Well, I've, I've used this device way more than I ever have before. I mean, previously there was just too many limitations that I couldn't really get over. There were multitasking limitations, there was a, a lack of freedom around widgets, there were cluttered home screens, and the list goes on and on. iPad OS 15, well, it makes these areas much better. They still need to add support for pro apps, they need to allow up to four apps running at a time, they need to have uh, multi-user support and extended display support for iPads with monitors. But the point of this video is to show you that iPad OS is getting better. So you've heard my view. I'm curious to hear yours. What do you think of iPad OS 15? Have you installed the beta? Why not? Just let me know what you're thinking down below in a comment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to Slash.TV. As always, I'm Bo HD. Thank you for watching. I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.